All right, welcome to our second con match of the week here for week five. This time it's Just Guy, and uh, in their usual tradition, they've allowed two new contenders to uh, to fight over it. And I uh, got Chris R. Sinkwater joining me on commentary here for the first time, and he's going to be looking at Michael M., who's facing off against Evan L. So uh, what's he got over there in his hand? Yeah, happy to be here. It looks like he's straight Azorius, as far as I can tell. Oh. Um <laughs> He's got uh, a high sentinels in hand, a kill shot, a smite, and a treasure cruise. So uh, that uh, is that's very unexpected, well. but uh, mm -hmm. unexpected to see not only two colors, but a two color combination that gets zero gold cards as well. Um, but yeah, he's whatever he's doing, he's making it work. They're both doing pretty good. Uh, Michael's at thirteen wins, and uh, Evan's at fourteen wins. And uh, I can say that Evan, uh, I know a bit about his deck because he gave me a proper uh, a proper beating yesterday. Uh, he has the Butcher of the Horde uh, in hand, which I, I played against yesterday. The rest of his hand is the High Spire Mantis, uh, Arc Lightning, and three lands. So good cards, but needs to draw some uh, non-lands here, since this Butcher is about to go down. And uh, what else did he have against me yesterday? All, all, all the all the good rares, I think. <laughs> he had uh, oh the Ash Cloud Phoenix, which he's just drawn. <laughs> Yeah, that seems pretty good. Although yeah. I like where uh, Michael's at in this match. I think he's in pretty good shape. His morph card is the Mystic of the Hidden Way. That's a nice one. Nice way to sneak in the last points of damage. Yeah, I mean, uh, this Ash Cloud Phoenix is a nice uh, a nice card, though. But uh, it doesn't match up too well against the High Sentinels being able to put a counter. Yep, definitely. That's going to be the problem. Yeah, and it could even put the counter on the other creature to grow itself, because... Uh, because it's such a good card. <laughs> like this is like this is a card that like has stood the test of time. Like this this card would still be excellent today. Yeah, takes over games very hard to deal with. Yeah, a lot of the rares that were good or, you know, top rares and cons we look at and we're like, eh, you know, fast forward 10 years maybe maybe not so hot or maybe it would be an uncommon. <laughs> Some of the rares would just be uncommons honestly. But yeah. uh, this one this one is still 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 looking good here. We got another morph here. Yes, which was the, um, what's it called? Mist, it's Mistfire Weaver? Okay, well, that's a nice one. Good protection here. Mm -hmm. So, I assume he's just gonna, Evan's just gonna play this Mantis here. Yeah. Just lands in an Arc Lightning, and the Arc Lightning, uh, probably gonna be aimed at one of the morphs at some point. Probably. Scary card to finish off the game, hammers. though. I've, I've lost several to just Arc Lightning to face. Yeah. Arc Lightning is a good one. He's drawn a Horde Chief here, uh, which, I mean, he doesn't really have attacks, per se. <laughs> I guess he can do this, and then he can Arc Lightning the uh, the High Sentinels after damage. But, yeah, so Michael passed his turn holding up Kill Shot and Disdainful Stroke, I think, trying to nab something with the counter there. Yeah, well, even if, yeah, he also has the, the Hexproof trick, right, the Morph? Correct, exactly. So he's and got, he's got a few on, things he's got now. Options. Well, he's running out of options with his life total here, but uh, <laughs> you know, once this High Sentinels gets to 4-5 or five and he has Hexproof Protection, it's probably going to be really hard for Evan to deal damage uh, with what he has on board right now, but uh, we'll see. And we, you did say he has a Treasure Cruise uh, up there in his hand. He did. He does. I think that. he's got one card in Graveyard, two cards maybe, so it's not. Okay. He, can't, he can't cast it apparently. Yeah, there was in, uh, I don't know how much of cons you played back then, but there was sort of a draft archetype where you could play, like, um, you could play, honestly, like a white-blue two-color deck. You play, like, Just Guy Wind Scout, Just Guy Student, a bunch of Defiant Strikes, Crippling Chills and Treasure Cruises, and just Prowess Creatures and Cheap Spells. Mm -hmm. And uh, it didn't, you know, it didn't come together all the time. I mean, not being not having access to any gold cards is not good, but you you, you often threw, threw some red in there for, uh, for some burn and some uh, Just Guy cards. But, well, we haven't uh, seen any red yet, but yeah, that that sounds like the archetype he's running with the the straight blue white. All right, so he's actually going to put him to five if he decides to arc lightning the misfire weaver, and then he'll have five attackers versus three blockers. Still not amazing. I think he's going to go for the attack here, hope that high sentinels blocks, and then he can get a real blowout with the arc lightning. Yeah, this, yeah. It doesn't make sense for Michael to block any other way than this. Yeah, I agree. 
Yeah, Evan's sitting. Evan's wondering now. He's like, "Did I? Did I want him to do that?" <laughs> I think he wanted. <laughs> I think he's trying to bait a block with the high sentinels, but I don't think Michael's going to give him that. I'm not sure right. what. Uh, yeah, what's the decision? Yeah, not too much here. So in comes the uh, Phoenix. He says, "I'm just going to turn it up." I mean, just a couple of more activations, and plus the arc lightning. Like he could just. You can just get him. Like, so a suspension here. field off the top here is going to change it, does, it a little bit. Yeah, it does not hit, hit the Ash Cloud Phoenix because it checks toughness. That is true. So he could just attack with Ash Cloud Phoenix, then flip it back up, and then next turn, uh, Arc Lightning. Actually, if he draws a land, he'll have nine, which will be enough for everything. And the Arc Lightning gets under the Disdainful Stroke that uh, Michael's still holding. Well, he's drawn Butcher of the Horde number two here. <laughs> that must be nice. Yeah. All right, so he's going to go for the Arc Lightning here, and then he's I think he's going to go for Butcher of the Horde and then give it haste. Okay, that's going to get nabbed by the Disdainful Stroke, yeah. so we may have another another round here. Yeah, and I don't think he should be attacking with Ash Cloud Phoenix. He, I, I, would, I would only do it if I had the mana to flip it up when it comes back, because you don't want to get it hit by a removal. Yeah. You don't want the morphed uh, version to get hit by removal. I've been uh, playing a lot with that card <laughs> since I have uh, multiple copies in my deck. But uh, yeah, this will just do it. He's at three, so what we what we fail to realize is that uh, he just gets to attack for lethal here. You know, here I'm focusing on the little, little small intricacies, and Evan's just the Mardu player getting his opponent dead. <laughs> yeah, very assertive, and that that all came together pretty well for him. Yeah. So, oh yeah, he has the Zergo as well. I'm I'm now reliving all the uh, the wonderful things that occurred uh, when I played him <laughs> yesterday. Um, yeah, just all the Mardu cards. He has two murderous cut. Um, even has utter end for removal. Mardu charm. Just uh, yeah, doing doing well with Mardu. Seeing a lot of Mardu decks uh, this week. I think uh, a lot of blue blue cards are uh, people are swapping in their blue cards for for other strategies. Yeah, and and you called it for Michael. He is splashing a little bit of red. He's got a burn okay. away and a stage of the inward eye. That's a very modest splash. Like I don't know what his fixing is, but you know he could have probably put in a little bit more. But you know, uh, di yeah. discipline goes a long way. But uh, giving up on the gold cards is uh, is pretty pretty big. It's easy to lose games just to mana in this when you're doing three and four color stuff. So I, yeah. I, I appreciate what he's going for. Yeah, I, I look like my starting pool had I think like eight or nine non basic, so I just there was never gonna be an issue. It was just what's the best combination of cards. But yeah, I know some people's pools are really lacking for, for fixing and it's uh you know we have seen games decided this league by people just not getting there on their on their mana and their colors. Yeah. He uh he expanded his, his deck and he actually has an arc lightning he's splashing to okay. as well. Oh he's and on I mobile, think he's got so five, we, uh, we five red sources. Anything. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he is uh, on mobile here. His computer was undergoing a rather large update, but uh, he he still got the stream going from mobile, so uh, we still get to see what's going on on his end. Yeah, like, I wonder what, if he has other Jeskai cards he's not playing, because there's just so many good ones. Like, even just the common morph, the, like, the free weapon master, like, you just throw that in your deck, there's zero cost, because you can morph it, things like that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's got, a, he's got a ride down he's not playing... Um, but I yeah, don't, don't see any other Death Guy cards. Yeah, I don't see Ride Down as like a splash card. Like you, you, you want to have access to that as early as possible every game. Yeah, I agree. So far, he's made no changes. Yeah. He's just uh, mulling it over. Evan, I think he he took out something. I can't remember if it was a Smite the Monstrous or something. Just because the creatures look pretty small. Like I mean, the, the high the high sentinels can get big, but everything else was uh, rather small that he saw. Like he, white, he made a quick white change. blue, white blue. You're just not gonna have big creatures. Yeah, and actually, I think he made a quick change to drop his curve a little bit. I didn't see exactly what he put in, okay. but he's looking at a two lander here, so there's a decision to be made. All right, well, we got the opposite here. We got a five lander, <laughs> but but he does have a seeker of the way and a chief of the scale. So uh, that is what what you want to see if you are going to keep five lands is two. Not just two two-drops, two premium two-drops here. No third land so far. Okay. Could be could be quick. I've been in this seat before. And... 
<laughs> no third land. Yeah, I, I, I sort of, I've mentioned this a couple of times. I think it even came up yesterday. Like, in this format, like, Khans of Tarkir, I just don't keep two landers. Yeah, you like, have to get period, the three, right, period, at least. Period. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, if I've mulliganed and whatnot, but uh, for a seven, seven hand, uh, seven, seven card hand, nope. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he's so... drawing good cards. He's got a Windmake <laughs> rock that he just drew, Whoa, but I, he's got, I... he needs that land. Yeah, we're curving out here. Next turn, he's going to be able to flip up his pony back brigade or play two more creatures here. So, uh, I mean, not uh, only not a land, but a red card too. Yeah. So uh, let's see what Evan decides to do here. I mean, various ways to get his opponent dead. I d like with the amount that the opponent has, he doesn't have to worry about a board wipe. No, and even the three mana options he's got here is yeah. a Horde Chief and a Watcher of the Roost, and oh, just, not a third land, so yeah. that's it. Unfortunate one here. Uh, the morphs that he had were Ponyback Brigade and two of the uh, the two one birds that flip up by revealing a card, and uh, well, at least he got to do that on the way out. You could say that's no right. to Zergo. You can do you could do whatever you like to me, but I'm not getting smashed by Zergo. But uh, looks like we have a brand new con, and I guess the final con for... Uh, for just guy here so five weeks five cons congratulations to evan l uh, getting the win here and uh taking his spot atop the just guy